when, when, when Nine produced on the Black Album, uh, the, the background story was you were familiar with Little Brothers' work, and uh, you know you ended up bringing that to Jay, and that's how that happened. What, how, what was the genesis of you finding their work and then the, the beginning of your friendship with Nine? Um, beginning of me finding Little Brother work, probably like everybody else, or OK player. Uh, and then hip hop. Um, we say hip hop. Hip hop is a person. Right, when I say hip hop, that's the person yeah. who used to work at Rockefeller, right? Hip hop um, had speed, like broken up into three different MP3s, and I just got stuck on that one day. So then I was just like, yo, these dudes is real fresh. Um, my main thing though is like, when I used to when I used to find new dudes, I used to want to meet them so I could see if it was really them. <laughs> a lot of, now you're laughing, but a lot of times it ain't really them. So you'd be like, okay, is it really this dude or does he have like his friend in the basement or right. whatever, right? But um, long story short, it ended up that the guy that was filming Fade to Black uh, uh, was just like, yo, I know not. Cause I was, I was ranting and raving. I was just like, yo, these dudes is real fresh. And how is he in North Carolina making this type of music by himself? You know what I'm saying? New York people get spoiled sometimes. I say that a lot too. Like if you go beat digging, you got a whole bunch of people that you could beat dig with that know the spots, that know records, you know, like, when you live in a small town, it's just you, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I was like, ain't no way they sitting in North Carolina doing that. Like, have you have you heard the listening? Yeah, yeah. That shit is crazy. I found an okay player. Right. Yeah. But not like, seriously, like, you could listen to it, but have you like, listen to it? Like, like I analyze it and go, okay, he had to chop this like this, and this like this, and he had to grab this record. Then when I found out that he was doing it in Fruity Loops, I was like, oh my God, like it blew my mind. Cause the way Knife was originally chopping, we on MPs and it's like, okay, this cuts this off, this, nah, he was like, the sample's this long and this part fits with this part and this part fits with no, like this end is cut. I was like, yo, this dude is crazy. Right, right. Nah, but um, it was just, it was just hot. So then I was just like, you gotta come up here and play these joints for Jay, but Jay don't always listen all the time. So then I hit Quest. And I was like, you know, tell Jay about this dude. And then the day that Jay was like, am I supposed to be meeting some dude named Knife? <laughs> and I was, it was just all work together. You know what I'm saying? Knife, what's your recollection of that story? Um, I used to do, I used to work with an artist out of North Carolina, if anybody knows my history, uh, musical history, by the name of Spectac. And um, Spectac knew this guy named Theron Smith, T. Smith. And in uh, February of 2003, he came down to North Carolina. And anytime you come to North Carolina and hang with North Carolina cast, the first thing we want to do is take you get something to eat. Like, right. that's, <laughs> let's go get something to eat, man. Let's go here, let's go there, whatever. You know, to show you know, how we get down. And T. Smith just hung with us all day long, me and Spectac. And he said, man, and he said, man, what do you do? I said, I make beats. So I just play beats all day and I had them on me. I used to carry beats. So I tell cats all the time, man, take beats with you everywhere. Right. You don't, never know who you're going to be. Me, and so we, you know, listened to beats all day. We had Bojangles in the car, like, it's really, you know, whatever. And so he said, man, if I'm, if I'm ever anybody, meet anybody in New York, I'll let you, you know, I'll hit you. I'm like, ah, you know, everybody says that. So the year went on, year went on. And so in September, he calls me out the blue. And he said, you wrong me? You know, I was with Spectac. You know, I did the video work for him. I said, yeah, he said, well, man, I got picked out of a thousand people to do video work for Fade to Black, Jay-Z's new movie. I was like, what? You know what I mean? And he said, man, and it's funny, I brought your name up in, uh, to a guy by the name of Young Guru. You know what that is? I was like, yeah, I know what that is. And at the time, you know, you're not really thinking. I was stuck in Rockers' world, you know what I mean? Like, I was Rockers' records out. Like, I didn't care about the radio. I didn't care about none of that. And so I was just in that world, man, where commercialism and hip hop didn't mean anything to me. Right. You know what I mean? And so, you know, he and me say, like, yeah, man, like Rockefeller. And I'm thinking, why would anybody in Rockefeller want to be interested in my beats? Because right. that's the mind frame of somebody that's quote unquote in an underground state of mind. You know what I mean? And so he put Guru on the phone. And I'm just on the phone. He's like, yeah, I got speed. And he started rhyming lyrics and shit. I'm like, this is crazy. Like, you just, you just never know in North Carolina's a bubble. Right. You just never know who's listening to your music outside of NC. And he said, man, can you, um, can you get up here? Yeah, yeah, I can get up there. So I went up there, man. That was a Wednesday. I got up there on a Saturday. And um, you took the bus? 
Nah, the flu day. Yeah, flu. So, and um, you know, we got up there and um, that was it. And I walked in the room and Jay was sitting on like the middle console. And um, he said, yo, man, you know, you come highly recommended by Amir. Crystal, voice of love, man. That was my shot. And, you know, I think at the time, I was selling beats for like $200. And I sold one beat to uh, Master Ace, Good Old Love, for like $2,000. And then, so it went from the cats I was mailing beats to in the mail, not email, in the mail, <laughs> to, to Master Ace, to Jay. That fast. Nice one, I see.